So this is a wine goblet. I mean, come on, this looks pretty close to being a very good proportionally sized wine goblet. I mean, I could see myself drinking uh, liquid out of this. Uh, there's a lot of small wine glasses. They're actually this size. You can get one. Um, we went to some wine tasting, me and my wife, and that actually had, they gave you little glasses in the wine tasting. And they were about this size. So relatively, it's real sized, um, a little bit on the small size to be a full size goblet. But I think, you know, um, goblets can be in, in different sizes. So I think this is a really good representation of the size and shape of a goblet. Now the color itself came out okay. The whites represent the glass, if you will, because we don't have any clear rounded pieces. But if you actually go on this other side, the red actually indicates um, that the wine goblet itself looks more full. So I actually like that. Um, actually, if we traded out this piece here to, with this, I think you get that overall idea of what I'm trying to get after. So we have, we have here, you know, a wine goblet with red wine inside of it versus um, this side, which is more on the clear side. So I think it turned out really well um, especially in size and proportion and shape of a wine goblet and to get ready for the Valentine's I keep saying Halloween to get ready for the Valentine's uh, uh, season we built this if you're a little uh, if you're um, if you're a kid or if you're a husband you can make this out of Legos and give it to your wife and say here's wine for Valentine's Day um, ahead of Valentine's Day, of course. So I think it's a pretty cool little creation that you can build at home. Now let's go watch the video and play along with us in our five minute video um, to see if you can build this Lego creation along with us. And if not, build whatever else you can build within the five minutes of time that we have with each other. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope to that you subscribe and like down below and get notifications of when we release a new video thanks everybody for watching now let's go check out now let's go check out and play along with us in the five minute build of this wine goblet let's go check it out well welcome back everybody to my lego lab and we do five minute videos here. And what are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna follow that Valentine's theme th today and all this week. And we're going to do a wine glass. Um, very romantic object. Um, so some sh sort of shaped wine glass. We did a champagne flute before for New Year's Eve. We're coming up to uh, Valentine's Day. So might as well do a wine glass. So why don't you get your kit or your Legos and play along with us. I'm gonna put five minutes on the clock. Let's do that right now. And then you guys play along, watch the clock up above, and see if you can make a wine glass as good as mine, if not better. I'd love to see any of your creations. What is going on here? Um, so let's hit start, and let's get started. Um, love to see any of your guys' creations uh, that you build and um, would really like to see um, everything that you make you know just share with us on social media on make sure daily at make sure daily and we would love to see any of your creations so the champagne flute was very narrow before so and the mug was very large so I want to pick something somewhere in between uh, so let's see how we can do that so we got whites and whites. So we got this white column. We're kind of using the sidewalls that we had for the uh, mug, right? So now we have this as a possible base. I don't want to use it as the mug, uh, you know, the, the cup, because that's what we use for the mug. So I'd like to do something like this. What are we going to use on the inside here? Yeah, maybe something blue. No, maybe I'm going to do blue and white here in this rendition. So we have to use these pinks again, it looks like. 
pinks and purples like we did with the mug but it's all about the wine stem right the, the stem of the mug is what we're trying to figure out how to master here making it look like a mug uh, a wine glass and not a mug right so we're kind of going with that goblet i don't know if you know what a goblet is it's um it's kind of a wide uh, wine glass like a wide wine glass uh that um is fairly tall but it has a short and it has a stem but it has a short stem to it kind of like that but a little bit a little bit bigger so we're gonna try to go up a little bit higher with this now how can we do that we can use these green pieces maybe to keep that column going up we also have these green pieces or these orange pieces maybe we use those orange pieces instead let me zoom out we're two and a half minutes in and we're getting close already um, actually I'm gonna green to me does not go well with food so let's try to switch it up to the orange wow that looks it looks like a wine goblet right I could drink out of this blum, 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 blum. Um, that's pretty close so what else can we do to uh, make this better so the one thing I don't like so far is the height of this part of the goblet if I can make that taller Maybe I can do something like this. Or maybe, maybe I take this one off and go one taller in the front at the white and then use this one here to hold it up. Okay. So something like this that way the top looks white and the color scheme stays the same however the um, yeah so there we go let's do that there purple and backs do I have oh yeah so I have a couple more little pink pieces two by ones and there we go that's a lot better in shape color wise you know it's similar to what it was before but I think the shape of it is really coming along we are about 20 minute 20 seconds left or 30 seconds left what else can we do to this wine goblet uh, to get it ready for Halloween or not Halloween, but Valentine's Day. Maybe we could put some wine in there, huh? Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we put a little bit of wine, red wine, on the inside. You know, and that's the funny thing is you could use this side. Let's do that. Let's use this side to indicate where the wine level is. So in this case, we have the red wine goes up to this level. And then the wine goblet itself goes a lot higher. That actually, that actually looks pretty cool. So it looks like um, there's wine inside the wine goblet. You know, wine goblets are typically glass, so you see through the glass. So maybe you see the wine on the inside, or maybe it's this way, and you don't have any wine shown in the goblet itself. But either way, I think that turned out fairly well. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if you think this turned out to be a good wine goblet. And if not, leave a comment down below. Love to hear any of your suggestions on how we can make this channel better. So, let's stop the clock. Um, we hit our five minute mark. We're within our five minute mark. I hope that you at home playing along with us were also able to create something out of Legos in the amount of time that we have. And if you are able to share your creations with us on social medias, I'd love to see any of your creations, whether or not through Facebook or Instagram, love to see it. So just go see the links later on uh, to our social medias. Let's see, what else? Um, thanks everybody for playing along with us today. And I hope to see you again 
let's talk about what we're going to build tomorrow. Well, that wine was a cool build, so now let's spin the wheel full of Valentine's Day items and find out what we're going to have to build tomorrow. So it's a bonus episode, so it's up to me what I need to build. I'm not really sure what I'm going to build, so let's check out what we're going to build tomorrow on the channel. Typically, our um, ch uh, we release a new video each and every day, so make sure to subscribe and follow along with us. Okay, let's go check out that video tomorrow, and I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day. That's the whole point of this channel, is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make. I think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.